It's just one important link in the chain to success on the track, and it's no secret that when it comes to motorsports, competition is fierce among the engineers to keep their team's race cars ahead of the pack. So what is their secret? Our Alexandra Bahu shows us that in order to have a great race car, you need to start with a great street car. In motorsports, we have a lot of the same objectives as production. We want cars that are high performance, yet efficient and reliable. The tech transfer from the race car to the street car goes both ways. We call it the, the, the ladder approach to technology transfer. We start off with a great street car, we race it, we develop pieces of that car, and we roll those into the next generation of that street car. But it doesn't just stop there. The cutting edge technology that is put into these GM race cars is also highly sought after by another organization, the U.S. military. They came to us and the racing community in large and started asking, you know, what can we do to make our vehicles safer? What can we do to make them lighter, make them handle better, make them more stable? Pratt & Miller Engineering is General Motors' technical partner. They take the technology they use to develop the race cars and apply it to military vehicles. Of course, military and race cars operate on a different type of track, but the mission remains the same, occupant safety. So you see these safety cells that are in the race cars, we're using the same tubular space frame technology in the race cars and applying them to the military vehicle, so it has that same stiffness, that same rigidity, and the same durability that our race cars have to protect the soldiers. The technology developed right in our own backyard will continue to shape the vehicles of our future from the racetrack to your driveway to the battlefield. Reporting from New Hudson, I'm Alexandra Bahu.